Which gem carrier do you think is the worst and hardest to push in the meta right now, guys? Between between Jesse, Penny, Pam, or Poco? I'm not going to be counting Bo because you can push him pretty easily elsewhere. And I'm not going to be counting Piper because you can also push her pretty easily elsewhere. But out of Jesse, Penny, Pam, or Poco, who do you think is the hardest to push right now? I know who I think it is. And we're going to be showing you guys some gameplay of me pushing that brawler up to 500 with an incredible 14 win streak. Wait a minute. Did I just ruin it for you guys? Did, did you think you were going to see me lose today? <laughs> sorry, guys. Sorry about that. Didn't, didn't mean to burst your bubble there. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. And the winner goes to anybody that guessed Jesse, guys. Yes, Jesse. I think, in my opinion, at least, at least right now, for the current meta, even with, even with the OP swimsuit skin is the hardest gem carrier to push in the meta right now, okay? And why is that? Because Penny counters her in most situations and Penny is so incredibly strong right now. Now, Jessie does, does do an okay job at countering Pam, but she's better at countering Pam than, or she's worse than countering Pam than Penny is. She's also okay at countering uh, Poco, uh, but... Not as good at it as Penny is, and because of that, um, if there's a if there's a map where Pam or Poco are likely to be played, most competitive players are going to be pushing Penny. Now, because of that, if you want to push Jesse, you're going to struggle a little bit because Jesse does such a good job at countering. Uh, but that's okay. Today we're going to be playing with Despotica Mateus. I just hop on, just hopped onto the game, and they invited me to a game room, so we played some matches and went on a 14 win streak to push my Jesse all the way up to 500. So that's what we're gonna be doing today, guys. We're gonna be uh, commentating over the gameplay. Here you can see some of this Barley stuff right here. Um, he's throwing down that super, and we're gonna be uh, just just showing you guys kind of kind of my thought process when I'm playing Jesse. Now, Jesse is, I, people ask me this all the time. People ask me all the time what my favorite brawler is in the game, and I think it's gotta go to Jesse. I think right now I don't enjoy playing her as much as some other brawlers. Like Penny is so fun to play, Spike is so fun to play. Obviously, they're incredibly strong brawlers right now in the meta, um, but I think that Jesse, I just, I love her nature, I love her, her fun loving character and I also love all of her mechanics she has one of the most complex sets of mechanics in the game with her turret and also her star power um, and just how to play her successfully so anyway with that being said that's my intro to this video now let's actually talk about some of this gameplay here okay so now we're gonna be facing off against a couple of players here now, we're playing against Poco, so I'm actually not too worried about this match because Jesse does a pretty decent job at countering Poco. Um, very first start off, trying to get behind some of these walls and trying to use those walls to my advantage so where I can just kind of like come around to the other side of the wall and poke around and try and do a little bit of damage. Now, there, with the help of Mateus, we were able to get in there and do so. Um, I wasn't too worried about that Nita at that point. Um, as you could tell, Nita, Nita typically will out-damage Jesse. Um, it takes more hit it's for Jesse to actually take out Nita, and Nita has a faster reload speed than Jesse does. So typically you don't want to get too close, but the Nita was low on HP, which meant that I was in a good situation to really try and go in on her. Now, um, here we've got a Shelly, and Shelly is not too much of a concern for this map. We just have to kind of pay attention to where she's at in those bushes and stay away from the bushes if we know she's there. But because Despotic here is playing as um, Barley, he can always check the bushes and see where she's at, which makes things really easy for us in this situation. This is a, a pretty easy matchup right here for us. As you can see, we're leading 9-0, to zero, um, and we got a solid situation here. Now, another tip to playing Jesse, as we can see here what we're in this gameplay, uh, is kind of making sure that you're paying attention, at least this map, is paying attention to those choke points and attacking those choke points um, so that they can't uh, actually like get past and they almost always get hit. There we go. We got another solid victory right there. Um, let's go ahead and move on to the next matchup. Now, I mentioned in the last match that uh, Penny does such a good job at countering Jesse, and we'll be talking a little bit about why, but for right now, let's talk a little bit about Pam, okay? Jesse is a good, solid counter to Pam. 
as long as Pam cannot get her healing station behind a wall. And the reason why is because all Jesse has to do is basically hit an attack or two on that healing station, and you can almost guarantee more hits on other brawlers because other brawlers like to kind of gather around it, like it heals them, and so they want to try and get close to it. So Jesse does a really good job of countering um, Pam, but why is Pam easier to push than Jesse in the current meta? And the reason why is because she has so much more HP and she deals so so much more damage. Pam has a really fast reload speed and she does a ton of damage up close. She can also deal a decent amount of damage um, at a distance, um, but the, the fact that she can actually get up close to a brawler, like Jesse, you don't want to get close to enemy brawlers because if you get too close, she has so little HP that most of the time they can just quickly spam their auto aim and take her out really easily. Um, now here, we've got those 10 gems. It was actually a really easy matchup for us. Um, uh, where I, we were able to spot it in Mateus, honestly. I mean, I when it comes to these gameplay, like I'm holding my own. I'm doing what I need to be, be to do to be successful for these matches. But man, they were just a beast. They were beastly in that matchup right there. <laughs> but huge props to them. Okay, now we've got a Penny. So let's talk a little bit about Penny. Penny does such a good job at countering against um, Jesse. And what I'm thinking when I'm playing against a Penny is I need to prevent her from charging up her super as much as I possibly can. Um, and I need to do that, you know, by getting in there and using those walls to my advantage. Here at this point, we were able to kind of push them back as a whole. And I know that that Mortis, it might be a little bit of an issue. Mortis can take Jesse out in four hits. So his three regular attacks, and then once he charges up a shot, then he's able to... Um, um, deal another damage or another shot and take Jesse out. So I have to be really careful. My goal at this point is to try and charge up my super as fast as I possibly can because with that super up, that is going to be an added layer of uh, protection for me um, just in case he does get close. Also, if there comes a situation where I as Jesse am, have Mortis coming up on me and I have a choice between going closer to um, my Nita or my uh, my Barley, I want to go near my Nita. Here we go, I place down that turret right there so that he cannot get in there. That turret is not in an ideal position. I would really like that turret in a place where it's actually gonna be able to be helpful, um, which it's not unless that Mortis comes all the way back to the wall. And at this point, their Penny has her, their turret up and so this is, this is a rough spot. Um, like I was saying earlier though, if I have the choice between um, that Mort is coming close to me. This is really close right here. He comes up right here. I'm using the wall to try and make it so that he can't get away. And I dropped down my turret. And now my turret's in even a worse position. And we are two gems behind. So this is not looking super great. We have to take out Keon Killer right there playing as Penny. Um, and this Mortis just keeps on pushing us back. Mortis, um, <laughs> once again, oh my gosh. Okay, I'll get to my thought later. But this is a really tough situation. We've got to get in right here. And Despotic is probably our best bet of get, getting rid of them, but here my turret gets charged up and I'm able to put it down and throw a couple of shots at it, which guarantees a hit or two. And now Spike throws down his super, but Despotic with that OP super right there is able to take out Spike, which allows us to stay alive. And he throws that down right there where Legend Killer gets taken out and we're able to grab not only one, not only two, but three gems with, which helps us get out of there. We were put in a tough situation right there. And with Mateus going in, being really aggro in the perfect position, then my turret was able to help take them out along with the help of, of course, of course, um, Despotic and Mateus also helped with that as well. But that was a team play right there. Really well played on all three of our parts right there. Okay, before this gets, before I start paying attention to this matchup and I start telling you, let me tell you what I meant. Okay, so with Jesse, if you're playing against an enemy Mortis, you want to stay closer to your teammate that has more HP. Uh, Mortis is can really easily take out a barley really quickly or something like that. But uh, when it comes to Anita, Anita has more HP and he need, he requires more hits to take out that Anita. And Anita is oftentimes able to kind of charge up um, her super bear to try and help deal with the Mortis and things like that. So that's what I was trying to say. If you have the choice between going getting cover from with your barley or your Nita, go to your Nita. <laughs> really, most of the time you want to get closer to the enemy brawler that or your your teammate that has more HP because that's going to be a much more difficult target for that Mortis to deal with. Okay, now this matchup, we got two throwers and we got a Poco, and this is not a smart situation. I definitely went to aggro right there, put us in a rough spot. Um, Despotic here once again, man. If. They <laughs> Like I said earlier, 
but I'm doing my best. I'm holding my own in these matches, but it really does help <laughs> to have some really solid teammates for sure. Um, I go ahead and throw down my, t my turret right there as a last ditch effort. Not really, um, that's kind of like a, there are a lot of situations where like if I'm playing against a bull or a colt or something like that, then throwing down that turret as a shield can help out. Against the brawlers I'm facing right now, that's not always going to work. That's not going to help out at all. And so you definitely got to watch out for that. My teammates have enough gems for the countdown. So I'm going to go aggro and just kind of keep them pushed back and kind of rough them up a little bit. But that's another solid victory for us. But we still got more, guys. We still got more. We're still not quite up to that 500 mark. And that's what we're playing till. Now, this time we're playing against Bo. And Bo, um, Bo is kind of like a pseudo counter to Jesse. Um, it, 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 it really does come down to skill, okay? Jesse counters Bo, um, and Bo counters Jesse, depending on the situation. And really what that situation is, who has the super up first? Because if Bo has his super up, he can put down his super over onto the turret, or cover that gem, mine, that mine area, like he does right there. And I'm thinking, okay, let's go ahead and get rid of those gems. Um, Despota gets hit by one, I get hit by one. Uh, I'm going to try and get rid of this other one. And I don't see that he put that one down, so I'm going to walk on top of that one. I'm like, wait, didn't I get rid of all three? And there's another one. And I'm like, oh, that's unfortunate. Oh, he must, oh, there was another one. And then I get taken out. And I'm like, what? <laughs> it was seriously like, as I was playing, I was thinking, I was like, okay, I, I got rid of one. I got rid of two. I'm pretty sure I got rid of three. Oh, no. Oh, well. Um, I must not have gotten rid of one, um, and then <laughs> I got hit by the fourth one. Oh my gosh. It was like the biggest fail ever. Despotic, though, is expertly getting rid of these bombs right here. Um, doing an excellent job right there. Uh, that's one thing when you're playing against Bo, is you have to practice um, disarming those bombs. It's easier if you have a brawler that's faster, like a Colt or a Crow or a Mortis or something like that. That definitely makes things a lot easier, or even like a tank. Um, but even brawlers like Jesse do have the movement speed to disarm them. It just takes a little bit of skill. So that's something to really pay attention to where he throws down those mines. And that will be make a big difference for you guys as you're playing. Here they've got the gems. So I'm just playing aggro. In fact, Despotic has nine of them. Mateus has one of them. So we're in a really solid situation. That's uh, not too much of a worry. Now, we're, we're going to be facing here against Legend Killer, Keon Killer, and Slayer NA. Three really great players. We actually played them earlier in this matchup. And whenever you play a, t a top play or top team, like high in the mat ladder once, and then you face them again, you got to pay attention because sometimes they put on their, their serious face and they're like, oh, you beat me last time, but that's not going to happen again. So you got to be careful here. And this is actually a mirror matchup with the exception of them having Penny and us having Jesse. So I definitely do have to be careful. I have to try and charge up my super before him, and we are able to do so successfully. Once again, firing to those choke points so that it's more likely for him to actually get hit. Now, Jesse's shot does fire slower than Penny's. Um, as such, it's easier to dodge, but some, uh, so that, that does make things a little bit tricky. I go ahead and put my turret right in the middle right there, and I'm trying to stay away from the, the area where Penny splash coins would actually deal damage, but he actually goes around to try and still get me, and I'm trying to keep it healed up. Now, keeping it healed up does a lot of different things. First of all, it actually, now that's the star power that you get once Jesse is actually maxed out. It's a really fantastic star power to have, where if you shoot your own turret, then it will actually heal it up 800 HP. And that's actually a really great thing to do in most situations, because pe that means that the enemy team has to burst it down and waste their shots and it also means that your shot is going to be able to hit it and then most likely bounce back to actually deal damage to them. So it wastes their shots and allows you to continuously deal more damage from a further distance away. Um, and so if you can put save up your shots and throw it into a se section where it will actually be able to take them out, but not so much that they'll be able to get rid of it like instantly so that you can't actually deal damage with the turret, um, then that's actually a really great thing to do is just throw it out and then throw three, four quick shots off at it. Okay. Now, I don't know if you were paying attention, there was a quick little shot right there of me getting, this is our last match, this is the match to 500, and so we're, we're definitely the, you know, and we're playing against, I, I recognize these names, okay, Achi, Achille, Achille, and Albert, and, um, let's see, our, this, their Nita friend here, um, Marsu, Marsu, that's right. I don't know how to say his name right, but they are top level players, and I'm pretty sure that one of them, like, they've, they're have they top players, okay? So, gotta pay attention right here. Um, this is definitely a solid matchup. Um, Albert's doing a really good job. He'd already taken out Mateus, and so uh, now Mateus has actually taken out Marsu. He's able to do an excellent job right there. Now, Mateus does not pick up the gems so that he can then be aggro. 
Um, that allows him to do a really excellent job of playing how he wants to be doing. Now I throw down that turret right there and I start attacking with those shots and that allows me to not only deal damage to their penny but also to kind of keep them pushed back and keep it healed up right there. As you can see, wasting tons of their shots, Nita shots, penny shots, um, even barley shots, trying to take out my turret and that kind of forces them to fall back a little bit. Now I'm trying to do my best to try and dodge those penny shots as you can see um, and that and here I actually get up really close because I know that I can outsmart uh, the penny or not outsmart, outlast the penny with the support of my teammates but I had to pay attention to that Nita in the bushes um, because that Nita definitely is uh, somebody that could have caused me some issues so rather than going for those gems I actually had to um, back off and let Despota pick up the gems or Mateus, I don't remember who picked up the gems but somebody picked up the gems other than me and this this guys, this is a solid victory up to 500 and Jesse is my third to last 500 brawler. My next to last 500 brawler is Colt and I actually grinded Colt up to 500 last night and it was a ton of fun. Really not an easy brawler to push up, but that's what we do here, guys. And so uh, let me know if you want to see that Colt gameplay, and we'll definitely put it in a video for you guys later, because I know that a lot of people like to like to see Colt, especially as a brawler that's really difficult to push in the current meta right now. Anyways, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video, as well as these higher level gameplay type videos, where I actually try to talk about um, what makes certain brawlers better or worse in different situations and different matchups and stuff. Before I end this video, I wanted to give a huge thank you to my YouTube and Patreon sponsors, as well as my Twitch subscribers for helping support the channel. For now, this is Kairos Time ticking by, and we will see you in Brawl Stars.